Welcome back to Instables, everyone. Welcome back for Seth Bulls. I'm going to go over the five most popular stocks everybody has been talking about for potential breakouts leading into the next few months. Again, all of these have been on huge breakouts previously, and a lot of people have high expectations for each one of these companies. I'm going to go over AMC, PLTR, NEO, NNDM, and BNGO. I want to make sure we do cover exactly where I would plan to each one of them and exactly where I would expect for each one of these to break out. And the only thing I ask in return is you guys smash that like button and hit subscribe if you guys want to see more chart updates on potential breakouts leading into the next day that we mentioned throughout the week. So let's jump into this one. Now, I do want to mention before we do get started that we do alert penny stocks throughout the week. So if you guys do want to see all our penny stock breakout alerts throughout the day, go to instables.com in the description below. You guys will never miss a penny stock breakout alert throughout the day. Again, we mentioned NURO around $4.40 on that major breakout up about 900% on the week. And we also did mention NAOV yesterday on that 250% breakout that was in one day. Again, these do not come every single day, but we also do have major breakouts all throughout the week. So I definitely would check that out if you guys do like penny stocks now. So I'm going to go over PLTR with you guys here on the four hour and exactly what might happen next now i want to go over pltr because again we have been talking about this one for quite a while and also we do have high expectations for pltr on the long run everybody's expecting for pltr to have a major breakout like we saw previously around 44 dollars again we did mention this one on this bull flag breaking up all the way to around 44 dollars from that 27 dollar and 80 cent breakout that we did see and we have been selling off since then showing us a large descending wedge that we have been talking about now we have been breaking above that descending wedge with the 20 ma crossing above the 50 giving us that momentum continuing on up and again we got rejected exactly at that major breakout point that we did mention here at 28 dollars it was rejected right before that at 27.50 but it definitely has a huge resistance here at $28 that we needed to break the body above to have that confirmation, in my opinion, to have that breakout with volume, of course. Now, we have been on quite the sell-off. The 20 May has been dropping below the 50, and we are bouncing here around $20, it looks like. Now, in my opinion, we need to come down all the way down to around $18.80 to have that bounce. Now, again, the reason why I say that is because the 20 May is below the 50 still. In my opinion, we're probably going to have a little bit more of a pullback here as we have previously on the VPVR, as you guys can see here, the most amount of volume that was traded within the stock's time period. When we drop below a very major volume point, then usually you drop down to the next major volume point, which is here at $18. So in my opinion, dropping down to around this $18.90 range would be um, pretty healthy for us for PLTR to bounce back up from. And again, retest this $20 range right here and possibly break out from there and break over this $28 range. That's exactly what we would be expecting for PLTR to do if it was going to have a reversal anytime soon, in my opinion. Now, the next one I want to go over with you guys here is NEO. And I want to go over NEO because NEO has a lot of potential to break out, in my opinion. This is an EV stock from China. Again, China pays their citizens to have EV cars, and we could have a major breakout. Now, I do want to mention again, just like on PLTR, and in my opinion, on the QQQ, which is all of these tech stocks, we see a lot of decrease in volume, dropping below these major volume points that we do see, just like we saw on PLTR. Looking to see if we can bounce back now. Our next major volume point here is at 37.50. Now, we are going to be looking to see if we can hold the 20 May, going above the 50, going to this week. But however, if we do not, in my opinion, we'll come down to test this $37.54 mark to possibly bounce back from there. And in my opinion, to bounce back from there and to break back above this volume point would be very key for us. And a lot of momentum, especially since we broke up already, showing us a lot of momentum breaking back above this volume point would be very key for us. So again, in my opinion, my entry point would be at 37.50 and my stop loss would definitely be around $31 if I was going to be entering into this one for a swing trade. But however, the market has been very choppy. I definitely would be careful. But again, NEO has a lot of high expectations expectations and that's exactly what i'd be expecting next on neo but however again we're going to definitely make sure we do play patient on this one make sure we do get volume to get more confirmation on that bullish momentum in my opinion around that 37 dollar and 50 cent mark again i'm not going to just buy it just because it hits 37.50 i want to make sure we do get volume confirmation to get that reversal so bullish divergence on that 37.50 mark with volume is exactly what i will be expecting for on neo in my opinion to have that reversal now again a lot of expectations coming in with neo and a lot of people expecting for this one to break out so i definitely would keep them on the watch for the next few months as we could have a major breakout and possibly break into new highs within the next few months if we do get these bounces and that volume that we're looking for. Now, the next one I'm going to you guys here is AMC. And I want to go over AMC because a lot of people have been wondering if this one's going to possibly recover. Now, again, we have been selling off quite a bit. A lot of people have been wondering if we're going to possibly continue to sell off. Now, in my opinion, we see a lot of bearish momentum. Again, we have our symmetric triangle that we did mention for our possible major breakout and squeeze that we were looking for. But however, you guys can see we did drop below it with the 20 May curling down. We did mention this. And sure enough, we have been continuously selling off since then. Now, we do have our bounce here that we did have. But however, as you guys can see, the 20 May is continuously curling down, showing us that bearish momentum. So in my opinion, until we do see the 20 May curling up and crossing back above the 50, 
we will see bearish momentum until then. And in my opinion, we do see a huge bounce here because we had a previous major breakout point. So in my opinion, we're only bouncing because we had a major breakout point at this point. And again, there's a lot of emotional reaction that happened at this point. So you're going to have a bounce at this point. That's exactly what happens. But however, if we do not hold this level here at 31, 81 on this bounce that we had in my opinion then we're going to have a continuation sell off and possibly have another bounce here and if we do drop below this 31 dollar point in my opinion then we will come down and bounce off of this 14 dollar range that we did see our previous major breakout point here on amc in my opinion so again amc still on the watch but in my opinion not as much of on the watch as it has been previously unless we do get the 20 made across back above the 50 in my opinion to get that bullish momentum to look back at this stock to see if we do have any volume at this point so in my opinion i would just set an alert here for 58 61 just to see if we ever do hit this point ever again but in my opinion based on the bearish momentum we could have a continuation sell-off especially in the market right now we have a very choppy market so in my opinion it's not exactly the best time to be holding amc on a bearish momentum play now the next one i'm gonna go over with you guys here is an ndm and i'm gonna go over an ndm as a lot of people have been wondering if we're gonna possibly have a reversal as we had a major breakout previously jumping all the way up to around 1789 and the question is what exact point do we expect for this one to recover and have that major breakout again at now again we did mention that major breakout point is here at $11.60 and it looks like we are holding the 20 may below the 50 showing us a lot of bearish momentum at this very point now we did have the 20 may that crossed back up over the 50 showing us a lot of momentum going to the bullish momentum side but however we got rejected here at that $9.35 mark that we did previously get rejected as you guys can see here on this wick so you guys can see we are trying to break above that $9.35 mark in my opinion and breaking above this $11.60 mark is very key for us we did mention previously because again we had that bounce we got rejected exactly at this point we also did have our major breakout at this point so in my opinion breaking above these points is very key for us and we are going to be looking for the 20 may again crossing back above the 50 to possibly have that bullish momentum on that breakout but however again we have been on quite the sell-off we're going to definitely be patient on this one make sure we do not drop below our previous lows here at five dollars and fifty cents to get a possible continuation sell-off which is exactly what we do not want to see on ndm in my opinion but again ndm definitely still on the watch over time we want to make sure we do set our alerts in my opinion here at nine dollars and 35 cents for that volume confirmation and if we do not get volume confirmation in my opinion at that point then we will be looking for that possible breakout here at eleven dollars and sixty cents on that major breakout point that in my opinion would be that major breakout point to possibly have that gap up jumping up all the way to around fourteen dollars fifteen dollars in my opinion if we do get this breakout here at eleven dollars and sixty cents in my opinion now the last one i'm gonna go over with you guys here is bngo and i want to go over bngo a lot of people have been expecting for this one to break out as well as again we did have a major breakout previously all the way up to around fifteen dollars and seventy two cents now again with the 20 may we did mention how it was crossing back up we had that major breakout we actually mentioned this one in the insulars room when it did break out but however as you guys can see we have been continuously selling off since then with the 20 may dropping below the 50 showing us to see if we can possibly have that bounce back at five dollars and fifty cents again $5.50 is very key for us. You guys can see the most amount of volume that was traded within the stock's time period here on the VPVR showing us that $5.50 is very key for us coming up. Again, we dropped below it, but however, we did get bullish divergence to save us here on this bounce play again, bouncing from our previous breakout point. But however, again, this previous breakout point is very key for us to not drop below again. If we do drop below it again, then we could have a possible gap down and drop all the way down to around $2.50 to possibly have that bounce back. As you guys can see, that is a very key point here on the volume as well to possibly have a bounce. But However, if it does drop below the $5.50 mark and it drops below our lows here at $4.30, then again, that's a lot of bearish momentum with the 20 May crossing below the 50 again with the 20 May curling back down. We need the 20 May to curl back up and cross back above the 50, in my opinion, to break above this $8.39 mark and then breaking over this $9.97 mark, breaking over that $10 mark to have that major breakout, in my opinion, as we did have previously our continuation sell off and again, our major breakout confirmation here, breaking above this wick that we did see here, as you guys can see. So again, BNGO still in the watch but however again we are going to just set our alerts here at eight dollars and 39 cents as a very key level for us to break above and if we do then we will be alerted or if it does break over nine dollars and 97 cents then we could have a possible major breakout here as well if we do not get volume at this eight dollar and 39 cent mark in my opinion now again bngo still on the watch i love the company but we do need more momentum in my opinion until we do play into this one again in my opinion this is not financial advice for any of these stocks this is only what i'm doing and again if any of you guys do want to see all these penny stock breakout alerts throughout the day go to instables.com in the description below you guys will never miss a penny stock breakout Breakout alert with it again. We did mention NAOV yesterday on a 250% breakout. We also did mention NURO, which is an 800% breakout this week. We had many major breakouts throughout the week. So definitely check out instables.com if you guys want to see these penny stock breakouts. And everybody that has been supporting the channel and everybody that has been in the comment section, I appreciate everyone. You guys, as always, much love to you guys. And if you guys do like this video, it does help other people find it and it does help the channel grow. And I do appreciate it very much. And again, God bless you all. And I'll see you guys in the next video.